Sports Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid Michigan and beyond. Hope you all had a terrific Thanksgiving weekend. It's time to meet Press Pass Team 374. Deshaun Tate, Lansing bred Atlanta based basketball savant. He is a regular contributor to the Drive with Jack on the Spotlight Radio Network, Tuesday afternoons, and you can hear his podcast, Tate's Take Hoops. Nice that you could come back and see a college basketball game. Well, thank you much for having me. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say 94 feet, 50 feet wide and throughout all the dimensions. I don't think that's necessary. College basketball is back, so it's like I got a napkin wrapped around my neck right now. A little bit different environment last night than you're used to at Breslin Center, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah, for sure. It was uh, a little quieter than usual, but that's okay. I heard some echoes of the, uh, of the Izzo. You didn't hear people chanting your name the way they usually do mm -hmm. in these venues, you right? Know, uh, yeah, no, you might have oversold it on that one a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> also want to welcome Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, my broadcast partner for 18 and a half years. He is a regular contributor to TheWolverine.com, and he is the creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network. How are you, Tom? Well, it's Thanksgiving weekend, and when it comes to Michigan football, that means a loss because they always <laughs> lose Thanksgiving weekend because they typically play Ohio State. Now they're playing a winless Penn State team, team and they still lost. So uh, <laughs> hasn't been good. They haven't won a Thanksgiving weekend game, I think, since 2011. That's nine years ago, Jack. Hey, you had something very interesting last night about Mel Tucker with the injury late in the game on the interception, and you said that impressed you. Well, you know, he showed incredible concern for the young man who got hurt. You know, I, I, you know, and I know other coaches would as well, but he was locked into that young man's injury, and I, that's all I need to know about Mel Tucker right there. Well, we have a tweet from Tara Stafford, our Internet Bureau Chief, and this kind of summarizes the kind of weekend it was, everything going on, you see what MSU football did, MSU hockey last night, a couple wins over top 10 teams, MSU basketball, the big win over Notre Dame. And then she just threw in there just to rub it in a little bit that Michigan <laughs> lost to Penn State and uh, also changes with the Lions. So that's got to be good news for a lot of people, unless your name is Quinn or Patricia. We'll be back and we're going to start with college football and what happened yesterday at Spartan Stadium, Michigan State, a big upset, 13 and a half point underdogs and a nine point win over the Northwestern Wildcats. We'll be right back with that story and more. It's Press Pass here on Fox 47. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. <gasps> right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull around back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It was the holiday season, and as is often the case, magic was found in an unlikely place. Molly tried her best to make introductions, Dad couldn't see past his grown-up assumptions. But thanks to fresh ham and warm apple pie, Dad was finally able to see with fresh eyes. May the magic of fresh food never be over. Happy holidays to all from your friends here at Kroger. It's employee pricing for all during the Black Friday sales event at La Fontaine. Right now, lease a new 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn for only $224 a month. Visit LaFontaineCDJRLensing.com. Shop bananas for the holidays and get into the spirit of the season. We have everything you need to turn your home into a winter wonderland. With many unique gift ideas from home decorations, ornaments, and beautiful clothing, Fanatas has it all. Look for the Big Red Barn. Jessica Alba and Gabrielle Union are LA's finest, Monday on Fox. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris, 
uh, at DART Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 106 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you as they have in all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. Hey, we just beat Northwestern 29 to 20. What you three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. I'm confused. I thought Northwestern wore purple. What's this about go right through that line of blue? Must have been a reference to Penn State. Uh, Tom Crawford, uh, what surprised you most yesterday that uh, Northwestern, 5-0, uh, and oh, a team that had just beaten Wisconsin 17-7, was outscored 29-20, as Rocky said, outgained 362 to 285 and outrushed 195 to 63 by a team that was 124th in the nation in Russia. Well, it, it surprised me, but it didn't surprise me. And, and the reason I say is this, the second half of the Indiana-Michigan State game, I watched it, but it was a couple weeks ago, okay? Yeah. And I said on this show, I said, you know, there's something about this team because they played hard led by Antoine Simmons in that second half, and Jacob Panachuk, where they were playing really hard in that second half, and they were so engaged in that game. I thought, you know what? I think this team's got some moxie going on here. They had the off week against Maryland. They come out against Northwestern, was come off a big win, and they played great defense. They, at critical times, they got, the, they got the turnover back, and they ran the football, Jack, 195 yards rushing. When you yeah. run the football, good things happen and you beat good teams. If you can run the ball and you don't turn it over, which Michigan State's had a major tendency to do, you know what happens when they lose as opposed to when they win in terms of ball possession. Deshaun, what surprised you most that uh, Michigan State jumped on the number eight team in the country and got that 17 nothing lead or once Northwestern came back and went up 20 to 17, that Michigan State had the last three scores of the game. Yeah, striking blood first is always a good sign, Jack. And once I saw that, I had good reason for optimism and some positivity. But I think more than anything else was the fact that uh, Northwestern came back and ended up tying the game and that Michigan State was actually able to pull that game out. A lot of situations when that happens, a lot of times that team that has the big lead ends up faltering and the end result is not good for them. You just saw the graphic there that Michigan State, hard to believe, one of three teams in the country that has beaten two top 15 teams. You think about Alabama, okay, Georgia, Michigan State. Yep, they belong in that club. Tom, uh, Spartans were a 13 and a half point underdog, but struck right away, second possession with that 75 yard pass and Rocky Lombardi, not the most accurate passer in the world, but he could not have put that one any more on the spot for Jalen Naylor, then made just enough plays to complement a terrific defense. Uh, how did this happen? How did they suddenly come to life? You said you could kind of see it coming. 
Well, I saw it coming on their defense. And Jack Camper got the turnover. You know, Northwestern got the inter got the interception, and it looks they were up three. It looks like they're going to be up ten, and they 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 run a pitch play, and they uh, Northwestern muffs it. Michigan State gets the ball and a fumble recovery, and they go down the field and they kick a field goal. I mean, it, it was it was just opportunistic. Rocky Lombardi, the last possession for Michigan State. He picked up a critical first down running yeah. the football. I mean, that guy, he's a wrestler. He's a great golfer. He's just a, he's just an athlete. He's a competitor. And he's had some hard knocks. And he got hurt here and there. But that, he's kind of the heart and soul of this team. At least he was yesterday in that big one. It's a huge win for Michigan State. They, they're playing with house money right now, Jack. I mean, they got two wins. They beat the rival. And they beat a top 10 team, eighth ranked Northwestern. They can just kind of play with this thing like, like silly putty the rest of the way. Surprise me that Northwestern's linebackers and at least two future NFL players in that group, maybe three, and they could not stop Rocky Lombardi, who's not no. the fastest running quarterback you will ever see. Deshaun, uh, Shakur Brown now has five interceptions. Michigan State as a team has five interceptions. He has every one of their interceptions. And he made a play on the stick and pick where he knocked the ball loose and then grabbed it before it hit the ground. And that set up the game-winning field goal. You had uh, Antoine Simmons coming through and making that fourth down hit in the backfield. Plays like that you don't think of, but they all add up. Yeah, they do. And I'll tell you what, uh, when you're talking about Shakur Brown, He's one of the very few guys that I've been able to see that looks like he can fit into that no-fly zone, the old MSU defense. We'll be right back, Talking Michigan, up next. So, I got my start in officiating when a friend told me I should try it. At first, I just did basketball, and I got hooked. Before long, I added baseball, softball, football, and volleyball. I really enjoy giving back to the game, working with kids, and working with my local association to recruit and train new officials. I would like to say to anybody that officiating is a great way to help kids and stay connected to the game. We always need new officials. There's help wanted, just listen. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Are you ready to shop? Because you know we got the deals. During the four-day Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings add up. Or get free gifts with qualifying purchase. And seven years no interest, plus free shipping and doorbusters while they last. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. But hurry, the four-day Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. I'm Lansing City Clerk Chris Swope. I want to thank the 53,000 Lansing City voters that let their voices be heard. Party challengers in the media were able to observe the voting process without any issues. They're an important part of the process and I appreciate their dedication. We could not do this without the hundreds of citizens who stepped up during the pandemic to work this election. I want to thank my staff. They worked tirelessly for months to help me keep my promise of a safe, secure, accurate election. Thank you. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Tracking a Trophy segment. Brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, go to theticketmachine.com. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, you know ball game. I, I think the, you know, I'm coaching it, uh, coaching it hard, coaching it uh, you know to the 
to the best of our ability, and, and I see that with our players too. I see, um, you know, it means it means so much to to so many. I, the effort is uh, is high, um, and critical situations. You know, we weren't able to get the stop or sustain the uh, sustain the drive today. What was that? I don't know. Tom Crawford, uh, Colin Cowherd was adamant this week defending Captain Crumble on his radio show. And uh, uh, this is the first time Michigan has lost to an 0-5 team in its proud football history dating back to 1881. Uh, they're not going to win a home game this year. And that will be the first time in the history of Michigan Stadium, <laughs> in the history of the program, actually. You know, it's funny. Jim says, oh, the effort was there. The effort was there. He was having to turn to his sideline after A.J. Henning made a great catch to get his kids off the bench to applaud. This team is broken. I said it after the Michigan State game, and everybody laughed at me. Said, I, I said, no, this team is absolutely broken. Nobody's engaged. They don't know how to tackle. They tackle like eighth graders, reaching for the waist, looking away. That's how they tackle. This, this, this program is in major duress right now. And I'll go on record as saying this, and you're going to be shocked when I say it. Michigan State's football program is in better position right now than Michigan's is. I never thought I'd say that. Wow, I didn't expect to hear that one coming uh, from Tom Crawford. Deshaun, uh, you grew up when U of M was winning championships and competing nationally, and that's something that hasn't happened in 16 seasons. But whatever happened to the mighty Wolverines program and when Brady Hoke says, this is Michigan, you know, everyone said, yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll tell you what I almost said. Tom, say it, don't spray it. He seems really angry right now. But uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if Sugar Bowl championships, if those count and things like that. In terms of national championships, it has been a while. Is it still Michigan? Big Ten championships. Big Ten championships. Oh, yeah, Big Ten championships a long time. But I'll say this much. You know, Michigan is one of those programs that uh, I like to think will be around for some time and will eventually get back to where they were, getting closer to that. Not saying they'll be that, yeah. but they will eventually start getting closer to that whether John Harbaugh will or won't Jim Harbaugh will be the coach or not at that point we'll see Tom let's take a look at a rather revealing tweet from former U of M championship quarterback uh, turned NFL broadcaster Brian Greasy is Greasy on a slippery slope here or does he speak for a lot of the old blues that you know he has a tremendous amount of credibility, national champion, Big Ten champion. Uh, he played in the NFL for 11 years with four teams. He's Monday Night Football analyst. He's got a lot of credibility, and that got a lot of people's attention. Jack, I'm on text threads with football players from three different decades, the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and they're all saying the same thing. I don't recognize this team. I can't watch this program. They're calling it despicable, a word despicable. So there's a lot of pain right now going on in the Michigan football program in terms of former players who feel they own the program. And they do. It is indeed their program. So there will be change. I said it after the Michigan State game. There will be change. Jim Harbaugh will not be coaching this program next year. And, if, you know, basically, if, 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 if Ward Manuel doesn't have the guts to fire his friend, he's going to find himself fired. Could be a little Quinn Patricia action here where they would go together. But you've got a coach in mind, right? You like a guy from Iowa State. Well, you know, it's like, you know, you know, as far as all Matt Campbell, all these, you know, coaches at the uh, wish list, Luke Fickle and things like that. Who do you want? You know, I'll tell you what irritates me. Golick on uh, the analyst, Mike Golick says, yeah, but who are you going to hire? Who are you going to hire? It's a power five school. There's a lot of coaches to hire that are better than Jim Harbaugh and you got a lot of resources third most revenue generating football program in America. Deshaun how is Michigan perceived now in ACC and SEC country where you live? Yeah I think just pretty much everybody feels like you know Ohio State is the biggest threat and from that standpoint I'm not sure they consider Michigan not much of that. We'll be right back talking national. I was pinned between two cars after a drunk driver hit another car. My leg was completely crushed and needed surgery. The Sam Bernstein Law Firm fought for me every step of the way and got me a $1 million verdict. That's the Bernstein advantage.
At the David Chapman Agency, we take your business insurance personally. Our expertise makes it easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about your business. With the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, visit davidchapmanagency.com. Michigan dairy farmers want to make this holiday special for your child. Sign up for a virtual visit with me at fox47news.com slash Santa today. Hey kids, it's Santa time. Watch weeknights at 6 30 to see a virtual visit with me. Ho, ho, ho! At the Sam Bernstein Law Firm, dogs are just like family. Many of our employees are dog owners, but sometimes accidents happen, and those accidents can cause serious injuries. If you or a loved one has suffered a dog bite injury, let our family help your family today. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, Visit DeanTransportation.com slash jobs. That's DeanTransportation.com slash jobs. How hard his job is, I can't. Um, I think most of you who are with him every week, uh, periodically, uh, you, you get it. Um, but I can't tell you how hard his job is, particularly now. Particularly now. Um, it, it's, it's, it's beyond... Uh, describing. So I, I just wanted to share that with you because I know you get it and, and ask uh, that, you know, you continue to do what you do excellently at, at, a, at a classy level. Uh, but be, be, please be sensitive to that as we move forward. I have no clue what this afternoon or tomorrow will bring or next week will bring. I do know one, this, one thing. Uh, we have a great leader in him. Uh, we have a great leader in uh, our, the rest of our coaches. And we have great kids. And our objective is to, every day, is to help them give them the opportunity to do what they want to do. And that's to play the game they love. It'd be easy to walk away and say, no, we're done, shut it all down, it's history. You see Ohio State Director of Athletics, Gene Smith, talking about said coach Ryan Day and the Ohio State program. Uh, almost enough to make you feel sorry for the Buckeyes, almost, not quite. Uh, Tom Crawford, uh, when we think of where Ohio State is, what is more likely that they're unable to complete enough games to be eligible for the Big Ten Championship, or do you expect them to somehow, some way, put together a team with enough players to come to East Lansing and win next week and then pound Michigan? and go on and qualify and uh, be a, a choice for the college football playoff? Well, if they don't get the necessary games in there, cry me a river, like I give a rip about Ohio State. But <laughs> in all seriousness, I think they're gonna play the games. They're gonna find a way to, to come up here to East Lansing and play Michigan State, which will probably be a little bit tougher game than they might have anticipated. And then they'll go down and hang maybe 70 on 
Michigan, uh, you know, in the final game, regular season game, uh, on, on December 12th, before the crossovers on the 19th, and ultimately a, a Big Ten championship game probably for Ohio State. Ohio State sitting there with four games. But I'll tell you what, if they have any cancellations, they should not be in the playoffs. Their sample size is not good enough. You know what? They didn't manage it well. Part of playing college football is surviving COVID. That's, it's, it's, that's just part of the game, and they haven't done a very good job at it. Well, they were victimized in the Maryland game because they weren't the ones who had to That's cancel. True. It was Maryland. But it does make you wonder uh, what might happen if they cannot play. And it could be that they don't get to play in a championship game, but with these crossovers, you could have Ohio State and Wisconsin as kind of a runner-up bowl. And uh, then if the Buckeyes could somehow get to 6-0, and it would pose a very interesting question and a debate in the state of Ohio if it comes down to Ohio State and Cincinnati. Uh, Deshaun, let's take a look at uh, the Big Ten standings and what jumps out to you uh, as you look at this list, what surprises you in a crazy compromise 2020 season? I'll be honest with you, Jack. I mean, you've got Iowa and Northwestern who yep. are higher on, in the standings than Wisconsin. Iowa, after starting out 0-2, they've gone undefeated since. Rutgers, Maryland, and Indiana all higher than Penn State right now. Wow. Last but certainly not least, Nebraska and Penn State, a combined record of 2-9. Wow. Outstanding. Tom, as we look at this week's top 25 games, uh, hard to imagine a wilder finish than the Oregon-Oregon State arch rivalry and uh, Oregon, a team that had designs in the college football playoff. Oregon State, a dramatic upset. What stood out to you about that game? The fact that I was watching it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I have to go to bed at 9.30, I'll be honest with you. But I, I was up at 11 o'clock and I was texting you, Jack, about it. And the, you know, the, uh, So you bring a backup quarterback for his first snap of transfer. He's ever been in, this, in, a, in, in uniform and he scores a winning touchdown a couple plays after, a play or two after, a bad, bad no call on an offsides. Crazy game. Fog all over the place. Reminded me of when the Eagles played the Bears many yeah. years ago and Randall Cunningham was still the quarterback for the Eagles. That kind of a game. Deshaun, as we look at the college football playoff rankings, who do you have in your football four semifinals uh, when the final order is announced three weeks from today? Well, don't be so quick to run to your nearest uh, sports book with this one or anything like that. But for right now, I have Notre Dame. Uh, I have Clemson as well as Florida and Ohio State. Okay, so you do have Ohio State in. I do have Ohio State in. And uh, interesting because when Wisconsin got COVID, they were out two weeks. Maryland got it. They were out two weeks. Got a 21-day quarantine. <laughs> Don't know what that's going to mean. Don't, doesn't look like Ryan Day is going to be coaching. Don't know how many of his players are going to be there either. Law of the Jungle up next, talking to Lions departures. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakamist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. It's an all-new season of TV's number one show, The Masked Singer, Wednesday on Fox. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, 
There's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you could save, call now, 1-800-922-1305. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-922-1305. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment. Brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road. Your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. That's why I'm there every week. Ten days ago, we looked like we had a good chance to be playoff bound. And, you know, both of those games were extremely disappointing. And um, uh, it just seemed like the path going forward wasn't what we wanted it to be. So, yes, we thought this was a good time to make the change. I meant what I said uh, last December, and um, I still mean it. So, yes, uh, things were not going well. It was not what we wanted. Um, we were hoping to be playoff bound. Things were just not seeming to go in the right way. There you see Sheila Hamp Ford. She is the new principal owner of the Detroit Lions, and uh, she meant what she said, apparently. A lot of people saying if it was going to happen, this was a great time for it to happen right after Thanksgiving Day. Can't imagine a worse 100 hours for the Detroit Lions franchise between the Carolina shutout and what we saw against Houston on Thanksgiving. Uh, Deshaun, you remember when the New England Patriots tra trailed Atlanta 28 to three and then came mm -hmm. back and won the Super Bowl, right? So the Lions get this idea that they're gonna create Foxborough West mm -hmm. and they're gonna bring in Quintricia. And uh, we saw what happened there when Bob Quinn's big moves backfired. And all I can say about Matt Patricia is in a little less than three seasons in Detroit, uh, he had 13 wins, and that is four fewer wins than Alex Smith has had leg surgeries in that span. What happened? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, how I see it. I just, I, I really believe that they got rid of the last coach a little too early. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm one of those people. I think that he would have been better off suited had he still been the head coach of the Lions. I know that that's probably not the most uh, popular thing to say, but that's just the way I'm feeling. Tom Crawford, let's take a look at the last two decades of Detroit Lions ineptitude. From 2001 to 2020, and lots of lie downs for the Lions uh, during this span. But suddenly, an 11 win season and two nine win records in Jim Caldwell's four seasons are looking better and better. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you know, and I, I used to like listening to Jim Caldwell's press conference because I thought he was a I thought he was a decent coach. You know, I mean, I'm like anybody else. So nine and seven, nine and seven, time to move on. But this Jack is the worst franchise in the history of professional sports. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Yeah. I mean, you were what? Yeah, I mean, you attended that one that, that national NFL championship game when you were, I don't know how old you were. Yeah, um, six years old, my sixth birthday in, present. Yeah, 1957, and, you know, 0 for since then, one playoff win. You know, I, you, you move on, you try something different, um, I, but I'm starting to think that in my lifetime, I don't know what's going to happen first. You know, the Lions, you know, win a playoff game on the road or a couple playoff games, get the Super Bowl, or Michigan never beats Ohio State. I'll take one of those before I'm dead. <laughs> All right, Deshaun, uh, your phone rings. It's Sheila Ford Hamp. She says, Deshaun, I know you're a basketball guy, but help me with this football <laughs> decision. Who would you like to see coaching the Lions next season? Jim Harbaugh might be available. Nick Saban will not. 
Yeah, anybody that can actually get this team to live up to somewhat decent expectations to an extent. We can get anybody. Let's go and get Tom Crawford. Let's go and get Jack Ebling. We can go and get the producer in the back or my mom's dog for crying out loud. Somebody that's going to put things in place and really mean it and, and put some kind of structure around this. I don't think that it's just players, even though it would be nice for this guy, Trevor Lawrence, maybe to come around. Uh, nonetheless, I still believe that maybe an Urban Meyer wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. That might be wishful Ooh. thinking, though. I don't know. What do you think, Tom? Urban renewal for the Lions? Could that work? <laughs> Why not? See if it sticks. Who knows? I, I just don't think it's ever going to work, though, for some reason. that just it's, it's a jinxed franchise. All right. Let's take a look at the NFL's Week 12, and it's an extended week. They had a game that was going to be Thursday night, and then it was going to be Sunday afternoon, and now they're talking about Tuesday. Tom, what's impressed you this week, and will that twice-postponed Baltimore-Pittsburgh game ever be played? Uh, I think it'll be played. Uh, I'll get that one out of the way first. Uh, the team that impressed me today, and I happened to watch it most of the game, was the Titans over the Colts, man. Derrick Henry is a beast. Yeah. My God, he got about a buck seventy. I mean, that was a good quality win for the Titans. And I think I know the Steelers, you know, and obviously the Chiefs, but watch out for the Titans as far as a possible outside shot of getting the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I don't make a lot of guarantees, but I'm going to guarantee one thing right now. If you had Derrick Henry and Tyreek Hill on your fantasy team Good this Lord. week, you won. It's a big <laughs> W for you. All right. When we get back, uh, we're going to talk college basketball. We'll talk about Michigan State's 2-0 start, including an impressive win last night over Notre Dame and a lot of other Big Ten action. Up next. Not going to lie, Jake from State Farm. That Daniel deal got me some sweet savings on my insurance. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great rates to everyone. Sure you do. Tell you what, I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll let you try the chunk, honey. Oh, I'm good. Here's the deal. Great rates, kind of our thing. You want to meet the queen? Uh, I'm not dressed for that. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Michigan, it's time for Double the Fun, because DraftKings Sportsbook and Casino are coming to the Great Lakes State. Sign up early and get $100 towards blackjack and $100 towards any sports bet for free. As the number one sportsbook and casino apps in the country, we've paid up north of $20 billion in payouts already. Sign up now because this offer won't last. Just download the apps, sign up with the promo code, get your $200 bonus, and make it rain. The Three Degree Guarantee, only on Fox 47 News. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Lansing's Best segment, brought to you by the Greater Lansing Sports Authority. The GLSA has brought thousands of athletes and teams to Mid-Michigan for hundreds of tournaments and special events. And we'll do that again in 2021, showing just what Mid-Michigan can be. 
played was December of 2018. Before that, he started Michigan game and the back to her look. What a finish there for Kay Brown. Here's Durham. Gets blocked by Bingham. Watts on the push. Again, touchdown. Back to back. Gay Brown, a couple crowd-pleasing plays. No crowd to appreciate it, but... Uh, I think a lot of the viewers at home enjoyed it. Deshaun, what impressed you more? Gabe Brown's willingness to accept this role, coming off the bench, and Tom Izzo says, hey, you can be the best sixth man in the league. You can be Morris Peterson 2.0. Or his smooth outside shot, which you saw, it can release that, get it away in a hurry. The high-flying aspect of his game. Or, or, last night, a career-high five steals. It's funny that you even mentioned uh, the Morris Peterson thing just because it's so reminiscent of what we've seen against Iowa State. Kind of looks like the same thing almost. Yes. Uh, but I, I would say a combination of all of those things. Uh, I think he's buying in more defensively, obviously, when he's having those steals. And I know everybody talks about Aaron Henry and what he brings to the team, how much he's improved. But I still have always thought that uh, a guy like this, like Brown, could should be in the starting lineup, number one. Uh, number two, you know, he, he plays better better defense but he's arguably the best shooter on this team an underrated athlete as well he's matured a lot so I, I like where he stands right now with this team when you think about last night's game and a lot of people thought hey Notre Dame give him a good game and actually the Irish led 26 22 Michigan State rolls off 17 straight to end the first half and then gets the first nine of the second half a 26 0 run Build a 28-point lead before it slid away a little bit at the end. Uh, what impressed you? The fact that Michigan State, the, the biggest difference was the fact that Michigan State is doing what Michigan State has done for years. We go take this all the way back 25 years, rebounding the basketball, playing defense, being the defensive anchor of the game. That's what ultimately it all boiled down to for them. I mean, when you got guys playing defense like Aaron Henry, who's flying all over the place, yeah. blocking shots, rebounding, Marcus Bingham doing the exact same thing. I also like to think Rocket Watts being put in that point guard position uh, and being the primary ball handler for the team was significant for them. I think you're going to find different games and different matchups. And you may have games where Foster Lawyer is better at the point. You don't think there are any of those games, but there are games like that. And I think you're going to have games where it's a Rocket Watts kind of game. Same thing in the middle, where Thomas Kithier, who never misses a shot, doesn't make a lot of coverage mistakes. Mm -hmm. Solid is the word I'm looking for here. <laughs> uh, and then you're going to have games for Marcus Bingham. And last night we saw, hey, he's down in the post. He's got a little jump hook now. He's got a fall away J he didn't have. He used to stand around the perimeter, look for threes. And he's blocking shots, not like Matty Sizoko goes up and blocks it to St. John's. You're talking about tipping the ball, not fouling, keeping the ball in play, that's a breakthrough. Yeah, it is. And I'll tell you, I know you said, you know, Foster Lawyer and Thomas Kithier, the couple of the starters. Mama told me if you don't have something nice to say, then don't say it at all. However, however, uh, this is a Michigan State team that uh, I think is still looking for a lot of its identity, much like a lot of other teams around college basketball. But the fact that they can go so deep, that's something that can only help them. If it doesn't hurt you, it can only help. And I think that's what outweighs so much of what we see out of Michigan State this year. Thomas Kithier, the most accurate field goal shooter in Michigan State history, by the way. Very few people know that. And we saw Joey Hauser last night. He'd been challenged mm -hmm. after the first game. He comes out 16 rebounds. Aaron Henry, not a lot of offensive initiative in the first game. He came out and attacked. Now, part of that was man-to-man -man versus zone. But it shows a number of combinations and the different things Tom Izzo has to play with. Yeah, I love that. And that's going back to the point that I was just making, being able to have that depth. When you look at these Michigan State teams that typically go far, not saying this one will be, but you have to have a starting point. 
it's always about the death, the tough, the tough scheduling at the beginning, being able to go deep, far down the bench, even if you're bringing in Sissoko and a couple other guys for a couple garbage minutes just to pick up a couple fouls here and there, teach the opposition, opposition some lessons about going up against some trees. Right. That does nothing but help Michigan State, and it will going as we get closer to March, as it typically always does. All right, we have a lot of time to talk about the Big Ten schedule, including that Christmas game against Wisconsin. Can't wait for that one. But let's take a look at the non-conference schedule for Michigan State. And Tuesday at Duke, the Champions Classic matchup in Cameron Indoor. Uh, no students there heckling anybody. The Blue Devils just beat Coppin State by 10. And there's an ACC Big Ten Challenge matchup at Virginia better known as Hauser versus Hauser. Yeah, we're going to learn a whole lot more about Michigan State after those two games, that's for sure. I'm looking forward to it. We will be right back. We're going to talk about the rest of the Big Ten and some big national upsets up next. With MSU FCU's Visa Signature Card, receive 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Open your MSU FCU Visa Signature Card today. Chance, will taxes be higher in the future? Honestly, Deb, there's no way to know for sure. There are many ways that taxes can change in the future, and they're historically low right now. Call Modern Woodman of America today for a free consultation. At Glen Hughie Chevrolet in Eaton Rapids, you can expect us to follow safety guidelines and quality staff, quality training, quality parts, all at a price you can trust. Right now at Glen Hughie Chevrolet, Lease a 2020 Equinox for as little as $177 per month. Or a 2021 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab for as low as $159 per month. From price to selection to service, it's better at Bugie. It's better at Bugie. The only station with local news weeknights at 6.30. Fox 47 News. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together, delivering the good. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment. Brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. There you see the AP Top 25 Men's Basketball Rankings. And just about everybody's had a chance to play a couple of games. Deshaun, how surprised were you to see first Virginia, then Villanova, today Kentucky in a major way, all get their first loss? If you would have asked me this on December 31st of 2019, I probably would have said pretty, pre pretty, uh, pretty surprised. Uh, but it's 2020, so nothing's surprising me anymore. Uh, but when you start talking about, you know, teams like Villanova, they added this Virginia Tech team yeah. very late. 
two games prior. Uh, and then you have a Kentucky team, which probably doesn't surprise a lot of people that they may have lost because they lost earlier on this time last year to Evansville. And then, of course, Virginia, after scoring 89 points on Towson, yeah. that looked very different from what we're used to. They went back into UVA who's mode. <laughs> well, between... Villanova, mm. Kentucky, and Northwestern football yesterday. Bad weekend for the Wildcats. Kansas State, too, by the way, maybe. Kansas, yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Tom, Illinois nearly got stung by Ohio University after uh, lopsided wins. You're talking about 60-point wins. And then they were very fortunate uh, to get that victory over the Bobcats. But as you think about the Big Ten... We've got eight teams here when you think, okay, there's Iowa and Wisconsin, Michigan State, Illinois, Ohio State, Indiana, Rutgers, don't sleep on Rutgers, and uh, your Wolverines didn't have their best game today, uh, <laughs> overtime win against Oakland, but uh, can you say beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the best conference in the country? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I'll tell you what. And, and Michigan, you know, is in the top 25 at the, the way they played against Oakland. They had going to OT to beat Oakland, a team that lost to Xavier by 50. Um, you know, they, they took them to overtime to, to, to beat them. You know, I, you know Michigan's a 10 and 10 team probably in the Big Ten. The Big Ten is absolutely loaded. When you have Michigan State, as good as they are and as deep as they are, pick fourth, what does that tell you? But it's so early and COVID is going to have a huge impact Jack on this season I, I I'm it's scary to think of where this is going to go in terms of cancellations and teams not having enough players to play and the Big Ten may have a repeat national player of the year that doesn't happen often Deshaun you know a guy's national player of the year he is long gone to the NBA Luca Garza mm -hmm. And, yeah, he misses, what, one shot, scores 40 know. points? I know, 36 in the first half of his 38 or 42, I think it was. It's crazy. So when we think about what this crazy, convoluted 2020 has been with COVID-19, mm -hmm. and you think about the cancellations, over 100 football games canceled, how optimistic are you that we're going to have some semblance of a college basketball season we can relate to and a Final Four? You know, I remember you asked me this question about the NBA, and I was on the edge. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. College basketball, are you talking to me? Guess what? I'm very optimistic. You are. That's the only answer that you're probably going to get from me when it comes to because I need that in my life, Jack. Uh -huh. I have to have that. I know it seems unlikely, but I got to have it. If not, they're, NCAA is going to have to answer to Deshaun Tate after a while. <laughs> Tom, I am less optimistic with college basketball than I am with the NBA because it's college. Right, right, absolutely, and and we got a long way to go, and uh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. These kids have worked so hard. I just hope we can get the season in. All right, we will be right back, and we're going to have our cool and smooth segment. All of our weekly awards brought to you by Culver's, our play of the week, our team of the week, and a couple of candidates for player of the week. Up next. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. 
All new I Can See Your Voice after The Masked Singer, Wednesday on Fox. Michigan, it's time for double the fun because DraftKings Sportsbook and Casino are coming to the Great Lakes State. Sign up early and get $100 towards Blackjack and $100 towards any sports bet for free. As the number one sportsbook and casino apps in the country, we've paid up north of $20 billion in payouts already. Sign up now because this offer won't last. Just download the apps, sign up with the promo code, get your $200 bonus, and make it rain. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Cool and Smooth segment. Brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Okemos North and South, North Lansing and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. There you see the warp speed version. That um, never gets old, Jack. Victory for MSU. A little different from the football version with Rocky Lombardi. Deshaun, I thought we would have some fight songs in case Tom missed them because haven't been able to hear the victors. They've been the victims too often this season. So I thought we would have a uh, little fight song for you. All right. Uh, team 374. Who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint explosion this week? Deshaun Tate, what do you have for play of the week? I was almost tempted to ask you if this was a trick question, Jack. I have to go with Matt Coughlin. 48-yard field goal essentially is what won the game with three minutes and 38 seconds left. I think that's the way that I'm going to go with this one. Maybe it wasn't the prettiest thing in the world. It wasn't you know, as pretty as my slick bald head or anything like that. <laughs> but it got the job done, and that's what's most important. I really thought you'd come with something basketball related, something from San okay. Francisco's win. Let, let, let's, uh, go, you know, let's, you, let's go off the top. We can go Keeve Aluma, 1.3 seconds left, sending it into overtime. Virginia Tech upsets number three Villanova, all off the top of the dome. That works. All right. That's a good choice. Lots of plays that we could have used yesterday from Spartan Stadium. Tom Crawford, what do you have for us for our team of the week? You know, the team of the week, I probably should go with Michigan State. They knocked off a top 10 team. I just gave it to them four weeks ago <laughs> today that they beat Michigan. So I'm going to go with the Iowa State Cyclones. Ooh. They beat Texas. Now they're pretty much assured of birth in the Big 12 championship game. Their coach is Matt Campbell. Okay, remember that name, Matt Campbell. He could be the next football coach at the University of Michigan. But a great win for the Cyclones. It's tough to beat Texas on the road. And they did it, and I don't, I don't know if they've ever been in the Big 12 championship game, but I think they're going to be this year. Tom, you know what the mentality is for Texas. Do you think he also guaranteed that uh, Tom Herman might not be back in yeah. Austin? Yeah, boy, I'll tell you what, there's, there's a lot of warm seats going on beyond <laughs> Jim Harbaugh. Yeah, that's, and Texas is so much like Michigan. I mean, the expectations are high. The money to spend is high, and the alumni pressure is really high. How about Tom Herman for Ann Arbor? You know, you had a, an Ohio <laughs> State coach one time. No, 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 no. Came to Ann What, you don't like that? No, 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 no. you got Ohio State DNA. No, 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 no. Holding out for Don Brown and uh, Mike DeBoard. I get it. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our players of the week. And this one isn't a player, but Nick Saban, got to give him a shout out. I uh, couldn't coach the Iron Bowl because of COVID. But his team responded, and tomorrow is Nick's 69th birthday. Congratulations. I think your team's going to be in the college football playoff despite what Deshaun Tate had to say. Uh, I think you can celebrate and uh, have a great chance. You'll be two wins away from yet another national championship. Also, Jared Patterson from Buffalo. He was a MAC Rookie of the Year, and then he was a First teamer, All American. Some people thought he could be a dark horse Heisman candidate. Uh, he is 
killing it right now. And yesterday tied Howard Griffith's NCAA record with eight touchdowns in that game. 409 yards rushing. Uh, that is the second most of all time. Congratulations to Jarrett Patterson. Uh, tremendous job there. Want to thank Deshaun Tate, Tate's Take Hoops, Blue Belly Tom, Tom Crawford. We'll be back next week, everyone. Have a great week.